G'day, we are live. Pete here from Casa James. Iron will be with us very, very shortly. Uh, she's just helping um, with the neighbor's child and um, bring her home. And she, here she comes, here she comes. So today we're doing something a bit interesting. We're doing couples therapy. We're doing a live YouTube therapy. Look at those eyes, you see that? A live therapy session on YouTube. So maybe you have questions. If you have questions, feel free to ask during the live stream. Um, but we're going to air some of our dirty laundry. Yes, we are. And we're going to try and fix the problems, you know, talk about the problems amongst ourselves and you know, work a way to, you know, mend the relationship, I guess, because we've been having some issues, haven't we, honey? <laughs> so do you want to start or should I? You start. I start. Ooh, wow. That's uh, dangerous. It's like a little bit of a dagger, you know, like, oh, I don't, I don't want to be the one to break the ice, so to speak. But um, all right, I'll, I'll do my best. I'll, I'll try and start. I think our relationship this year has been challenging, to say the least, you know, with COVID-19 and then, you know, having a baby and, you know, experience, experiencing all of that. Okay, so, you know, I love Aryan a lot, but I think, you know, the flame is, it's not out, it's definitely not out, but it, it's flickering, it's flickering, and it's just, like, the biggest thing, the biggest problem and challenge I think I have personally is I cannot ever seem to get any time with you, okay, I, I don't get any time with Aryan whatsoever, like, zero time, no time. You know, it's, uh, it sucks. And I'm still sleeping upstairs, right? And most of the time I sleep, um, you know, with my dog. I give my dog Quacky a cuddle. <laughs> yeah, it's silly, isn't it? But um, that's reality. Um, the good news, the positive thing is we, we had a holiday. We took a well-needed holiday just very recently. Very, very recently. And it was two weeks ago now. And that was great. You know, it was awesome. We booked a family room and, you know, it had three beds and me and Aaron could push two beds together. And actually that, that worked because the baby slept in the middle and then I slept on one side, she slept on another, but we needed the two beds to do that, which we don't have here because we can't fit two beds in the one room. But anyway, what, what do you think the, the core issues are, honey? Time. Time. So what do you think? We're time poor. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So can you elaborate on that? You go first with your, you said you're going to. No, no, we, this is a discussion. You, you tell me, what do you mean by time? Hello, King of Clowns. Thanks for joining us. You complain about me not having time with you. Yes. Yeah. I, I don't know how you feel about, I don't get time for myself either. So you're saying you don't get time for yourself either. Yeah. That's true. That's true, you know, because you're either working or, you know, looking after the baby. And one big thing, like communication. Like communication is key. You know, trust and communication, I think, are the foundation of a really good working relationship. Yeah, no, it's not easy being a mum or a dad. Um, but the thing, the big thing, and I want to raise this, and I haven't raised this before, honey, but we're going to, we're going to air the dirty laundry and then we're going to talk about how to fix it to improve our relationship, right? But the big thing, like this thing happened, because Arian took time off work, and after she had the baby, we talked about it, and what we said was she would not go back to work. Anyway, she didn't talk to me about it. Right? She didn't say anything, not one word, and then one day she went back to work. So she, and look, I applaud you for that, babe. Like, you know, it's great. You know, like we need the money. Money's tight, obviously. Or, you know, we've always got a tight budget here in the Philippines, and, um, you know, we don't make as much money as you would in, in the Western world. But, um, you know, my big thing was we didn't talk about it. She just went ahead and did it, right? So... Well, you didn't tell me. You just... I told you a week before. You told me 
once you went to work, you're like, oh, I'm, I'm back to work now. No, I told I'm working. You. She's doing part time three days a week. No, I told you before because I can't confirm it with them unless I talk to you. You didn't talk to me. Yes, I did. No, you just said no. that you're working. No. I think you think that you talk to me. I said I want to, to work. Me. Yeah, you said you want to work. I want to work. And how do you feel about it? That's what I said. And what did I say? I said, are you sure? Are you sure about this? Blah, blah, blah. Sure? Okay, yeah, you so think you can. I, I said, well, how do you do that? Maybe I said, how do we do that? That's not possible. I'm pretty sure I said, no, that's impossible. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And then... It, it got left there. We don't communicate. We don't come up with a conclusion or a result. And you, you just make the decision for us. See? So she's gone ahead and made the decision. That's challenging. You know? And then, like, one of the big things that is getting me just uh, annoyed. Like, and this is not Ruby's fault. This is not Ruby's fault. Like, the house is always dirty and like i'll even try and pitch in like sometimes i rake up the leaves you, you rake up and then you don't finish it you just leave, leave no, it there and then you put because i have a bad back bag. i don't want to pick that up i put it all in the pile much i put it's it better in the pile. not to do that because you know you're better just, not to do that i'm trying to save yeah, someone you're not, 20 going, minutes if you're not going to finish it, put see, it in see i the rake trash the bag. leaves and she gets angry see this is what i mean you think you're helping, but you're not. I am helping. I'm raking the leaf. Even today, I, I rake the leaf. Right? I clean up the leaf. Right? I clean up some leaf. You know, yeah, I do that. The next day, you even feel, oh, I just put it all together, and then the wind just blow, blew, blew everything. You know? It's just it's messy again. And you, you complain about cleaning. You don't even clean your own mess as well. I do clean. No. On Sunday, I come home, right? I come home on Sunday, and the place was a mess. Aaron's nowhere to be seen. I, I can't find her. So I, what did I do? What did I do? Be honest. You complained. No, I cleaned. I was vacuuming. You came home to me vacuuming. I already raked up the leaves. I was, I was vacuuming. What do you mean? And yes, I complained. And I said, why is because everything doing, messy? You know, I've been out... Doing on the weekend working, I've just come back. Because you don't know how to clean. I don't know how, to, don't clean. Have to clean. We don't know how to clean. Me and Ruby are doing general cleaning. We have to get everything out of the cabinet and put it back properly. That's why we're... <laughs> That's why everything is... We have to, like, go every room and check all the cabinets, put it back nicely, put everything, all the things in the proper storage. Oops. We can't do everything in one day. Like Okay, you just saw me put my arm here and I quickly lifted it off. What you would have noticed if you're a regular viewer of our channel, this is a new Sala set. So I actually on the weekend bought this Sala set. It's made from bamboo. It's locally made by Filipinos and I loved it. I thought it was great. They put varnish on it to protect from, you know, the winds and rains, you know, so it's we can use it outdoors. I think it's great. And it only cost me with delivery, including in delivery. I think the set was like 5,000 and delivery was 800. So it cost me 5,800, 800 peso, which, you know, is just like almost 120 US dollars. And I thought it was awesome. It's a four piece set. So I'm excited, you know, I drove all the way out to organize this on the weekend because I've been saying to Aaron to do it. She doesn't answer her phone because I want to check with her that she's happy with this set. She doesn't answer her phone. I call her several times. She doesn't answer her phone because she's angry about something. And I'll tell you what that is later. But she doesn't answer her phone. Did you answer your phone? No. No, because no. we don't have power in Kalea. And in you Why didn't you charge your phone? Because I forgot to charge my phone. You forgot. Yeah. Miss Forgetful. Right? And I messaged you earlier. I thought we, we talked about getting the the stone table. And it's fixed. We're going to get it. And then... No, because... You didn't get it. I was thinking to get this and the stone table. There was a stone table. It was more expensive, but it was about 9,000. I thought it was too expensive. 9,000 pesos. This is only 5,800 delivered. And uh, the problem was... I looked at this stone table and like it wasn't fixed like it's a piece of concrete painted and then you just put it on top and then what happens if the baby pushed it over and it fell on the baby you know what happens if it hurt my son 
So sure or what, what happens even, safer. you know, if someone just knocked it? You just knock this table and the, the head of the table falls off and it breaks. What happens? So anyway, I get, the whole point is I get this Sala set. I send it on my own money, my personal budget money for the month, which comes out of my beer money. So, I, you know, this didn't come from the monthly budget I spent on it. I bring it home. I'm all excited. I think it's a great set. And in a later video, we'll show you that the new set, right? It's got four piece. It's got this long one. And you can use it as a day bed and chill out. It's got two other seats and a little table and it's made out of thick bamboo and it's locally made, you know, by Filipinos. So I want to support the local business, you know, support the, the Filipinos, right? Mm. You know, because I think it's good. I don't want to get the imported stuff. You know, it's cheap, it's affordable and we're supporting the local business. So come sit closer. They can't see if you're hiding over there, huh? Right. But anyway... I get home, and what's your reaction? What tell tell them what what you think of this sala set? So this outdoor entertaining set. What do you think of it, babe? I think it's really ugly, and I hate it. I she really hates hate it. it. I hate it. I I was crying earlier. She's crying. I really hate. She's this. angry. She's not appreciating me for getting the set. You know, running around different stores. And at the time, I try to consult with her, but she doesn't. Even, answer the phone so what do i do i have to make a decision you're so angry that i bought a set you know an outdoor set for what you're angry for what because it doesn't look you know i was talking to someone around here who does the same thing but i want it customized for the same price i don't i don't want i don't like this design i want very yeah, but, simple see one. this comes back to communication I talked to Aryan about this and I said, what about bamboo? What about bamboo? I want it. And she showed me something and it was 18,000 pesos. I was like, man, 18,000 pesos. Come on. Come on, man. That's like, it's like $370 or $380. I don't want to spend that money. That's like, man, that's like my going out money for almost two months. It doesn't look like this, the AD. It comes with a cushion. It looks dirt. fine. And I was talking to someone already. If they could make something that looks like but you that didn't, you cheaper. Didn't, you didn't tell me that. But you didn't yeah, tell me didn't I tell can me. get you, this custom made. You, you and it's going to look me. amazing. It's going to be even cheaper. He couldn't He couldn't call me. So he's very impulsive. He bought the bamboo set. She but, told me this other set was 18,500 pesos. I was like, man, that's crazy. So when I found this set, for four thousand eight, uh, five thousand plus delivery, I thought, yeah, that's a great deal. You yeah, know? you like, didn't get the great deal. Just over a hundred US dollars. I because mean, it's great. Here, this thing, this kind of bamboo set, you can get it for three thousand five hundred. No. Yes. I went to the store. They had smaller ones that see. This is like the thick bamboo. They make like the kubu huts out of. People live in this stuff. Like, this isn't. This is going to take a long time to rot. You know, like it take years, you know, and it's got the lacquer on it and everything. You know, I, I think it's fine, right? I think it's good. It's it's strong, Whoa, it's sturdy. I find that. What's that? It's so strong. And I, I consulted a friend. I had to phone a friend, Brian. What's up, buddy? How you doing? And and Brian thought this was the one. I had I did consult. I did consult. I asked Brian yesterday. I said, I think Peter is crazy. That's what he said. I asked him, what do you think about the Sala? And then he said, I think he's crazy. He did not say yes, that. So that yesterday. You have it on record, Brian. Apparently I'm crazy. Uh, Brian did not say that. And then he, he didn't even he say, did oh, it was... That. Usually Brian would say, oh, it's it's really nice. It's really nice. I like it. But he didn't really... He didn't compliment the, the set. <laughs> no. Yes, he he's the one that said to get this no, one. No, he would. Why would he tell me to get this no, one? No, nah, man. You, because he, you were asking me what is better. We're talking so about he, us, not Brian. Okay, he, don't he bring Brian into he this. Help you to choose let's, the let's, one. let's just talk about us, honey. Just us, you and I. All right. So I, I've said a few things. I've got other things to say. I'm not going to raise it yet. I will be bring up the big one, the bombshell. Boom. In a bit, but not not yet, not yet. Soon, soon. By the way, does anyone have any comments or questions for us? So, you know, if you've got questions, just jump in on the live stream. 
Irene's going to open up her phone to... Yeah, okay. So yeah. she's showing me another set that this she one, really likes. This one is a different one. She's showing me one for 18000 I ain't spending 18000 Yeah, and then I was man. asking for... Or there was a cheaper one where a very minimalist bamboo set for maybe the same price and i was talking to this guy to customize it for me for the same price maybe. you didn't tell me that yes because we see before, communication before you went to pundakit we we're already said that you're going to get that stone stone uh table and you told me oh we're going to get the stone table yeah, and later you didn't give me other options and later you're going to get a bamboo I, set I, a different set like the As stone table now. is tiny the table is like this big literally it's so small. Yeah, but we're already said you already. A anyway, you tell me. Come on, you talk about what. What's your issues in the relationship? What What's going on for you? Huh? You're, what? You're very impulsive. You always complain. This is like every time. I complain. Yeah, you. you so what do I complain much. about? I whinge too much. What am I whinging about? Everything. Just everything. Everything. Mm -hmm. I'll I'll be honest in the sense that I am. A you're bit a, of a perfectionist. You're yeah. a professional winger. I'm not a professional winger. That's not fair. You're so shady, eh? Hey? So, wh what do I complain about that's unjust? What do I complain about? It's everything. Like today. what? Like what? <laughs> Go on, and tell me. What do I complain about? It's everything. Complain. Like? What, can't just say everything. Give an example. <laughs> what? I thought, like, when you're asking me stuff and... Okay. So you can't even give one example. I don't know. Th this is falling over. Okay, you complain about money. M money? Mm -hmm, the money thing. What money thing? Like... Sometimes you think you're giving a lot of money for the budget and you think, oh, this is what I'm supposed to be getting. But you don't, you don't think of how much thing cost. What do you mean? I, you, you didn't even give me budget money this month. I gave you the, the 11000 Oh, that was supposed to be for my birthday. Arian, and this is on film. For my birthday, Arian gave me 10,000 peso. The next day, the next day, she says it's a prank. That is your monthly allowance. Actually, I'm giving you your money for your birthday. That's what she said. It was a and, prank. And you wonder why I give you the nickname Dodgy. Seriously. And I was so upset. Was it necessary to purchase the set at the moment? Could have waited until you got hold of... Yes. Yes. I, I you tell, see, you're I'll very tell you why, yes. No, no, I'll, I'll tell you why. Him. I'll tell you why. Because... Where I bought it is like an hour and 30 minutes that way. So for me to get back to that store, which is like, you know, up the coast, up north, I have to drive an hour and a half back to Subic and then back again. So, so I, no, I didn't want to drive is three it hours. It's to make me really upset. Well, and sad like, think about it. Hour three time. hours worth of fuel would probably cost me like 1500 What, it, what does peso. it matter if you go to Barreto every like I'm not two going, days? I'm not going to Barreto. I don't go to Barreto. Yes, you go to Barreto. I don't go to Barreto often. <laughs> Good evening, mate. How are you going? All right, so let's talk about this. Iron saying, right, that I go to Barreto too much. Here, sit on the cushion so you can sit up. Here, sit on that because you're, you're sitting down low. Right? Yeah. Yeah, I like the bamboo and I want to support the locals. And that, that concrete thing, the... The stone one, it looked like it was made in China or something. I didn't want that. I wanted the Filipino, the thick bamboo. I like bamboo. I think bamboo looks cool. But she thinks it, it looks terrible. But anyway, talk about Beretta. Let's let's talk about the bars. So you're angry that I'm going to the bars, huh? Yes, you go to the bar and every time you go home, there's a picture of this girl on your phone. Like, same girl for the last six months, maybe a year. No! Yes. What? No, no. She's talking about a friend. At, yes, a friend. At the bar. Yes, a friend. And no, like maybe there's two pictures. You know, I'm with a friend. Oh Stop my god. Two pictures. Okay. Why are you swearing? Why are you swearing? There's no need to swear. 
Wow, that just blew me away. Oh my god, that was full on. Wow. You know, like... So what, what are you trying to say? Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> oh my god, oh my god. And you're even swearing on YouTube, seriously. What's going on here, my god. I don't think my voice is loud. Alright, so let, let's... Let's talk about this, because there's two sides to every story. Aryan's become, like, overly jealous, and she's, like, worried that maybe I have another girlfriend or something. And when I went to Pondakot, I went with my friend Brian, actually, for work reasons, okay? Well, someone said something there. Wink. Okay, no, I do not have another girlfriend. I have one girlfriend, that's all right. Well, see, she pushed me away. Did you see that? She, like, pushed me away. But, no, seriously, get this, right? I went to Pondaket, and Aryan's crazy. Because I said to her, Aryan, come to Pondaket like this weekend, didn't I? Yeah? Mm -hmm. And did you, did you want to go? No, I'm going She don't want to go. Right? See, she's very sensitive. She's very sensitive. No, it's not funny. You're crying. You know, you can see it. She, she cries a lot. She likes to cry, right? She's very sensitive. And she gets jealous, even though nothing is happening. Absolutely nothing is happening right so what happened right i'm driving to pundaka with my friend brian she calls me multiple times we're driving through barreto because she hates barreto she hates that place right because there's girly bars there there's there's bars there right anyway we're driving through it and she says i want you to put the video chat on she wants video chat on while i'm driving the car Right, through Barreto, so she sees that I drive through Barreto and past Barreto, past the checkpoint, and that there's no girls, that we're not meeting with girls or something. And I'm like, you're crazy, oh my God. And my friend is like, what is, what is going on? What is going on here, right? He, he can't believe it. Anyway, 20, 30 minutes later, we're still on the road. Arian calls again, and she wants us to do another call. I was like, there's no one else in this car. And she's like, okay, get the video on the phone and show me in the back seat, show me in the boot that we're not hiding people. Yeah, like I'm people up. smuggling or something. <laughs> like seriously, you're crazy. You're crazy. Seriously, babe. Anyway, so. Because you see, you're, you know, I think a week before you, you said you're going to Pandakit. Are you sure? Every, like, every night, I know, every night after you went to Barreto, you were like, oh, are you sure you don't want to come with us? Are you sure you don't want to come with us? Are you sure? You're, you cannot take it back. And it sounds very dodgy, you know, like, <laughs> what is going on? Why he keeps asking me if I'm I coming or not? Because I want you to come not? along. If we are I want, because we had a good it's time. It's not even we, said. We had a good time. I wanted even to... said, oh, I want, want you to come with me. And I, I, I did. Keep, I keep explaining I to you did that say. I have a lot of things to do this weekend. I have a lot of things to do. And every time you're here in the house, I can't move properly because you were always asking me to do this, do that. I need this. I need that. And it's like, hey, I can't breathe. Can you please have a boy's night out or have a boy's weekend? But make sure that I could trust you. But... Just, you know, a few days before you go there, every time, you always ask me, are you sure you're coming with us? Are you sure you're coming out? You don't want to come with us. Are you sure you don't, don't, you, please don't regret it, you know. And it, it, you make it really sound dodgy because I think you were, in, I feel like you're inviting someone I'm without not you inviting knowing. Anyone. Like, you're going to invite someone. <laughs> there was no one there, right? No, I don't want to have, I don't want to have <laughs> Loving another Loving says baby. we should have another baby. No. no, absolutely not. And I'm going to talk about this. This is another problem with our relationship. We have not been having sex <laughs> for two reasons. One, the baby is in the bedroom and we can never get time. Two, right, being Filipina, she doesn't want to use contraceptive and I'm paranoid to have another child. One is enough, like I've struggled enough in the last like six, well, no, last year, last 12 months, you know, having one child, I'm not ready to have a second one. And I don't know that I will ever be ready. And I'm, I love my son and I'm happy having one baby, 
one baby is enough for me. I'm like, I'm like, this, this is an island. I am mainland China here, you know, China Island here. We, we follow the one child policy. Okay. That's it. I'm good with that. <laughs> right? No, I'm happy with one. Right? I'm happy with one. Anyway, back to the story. Aryan even, like, she called me, right? And I tried to call her back because she wanted to see, when I, in the hotel room, she wanted to see the room. She made me do the video around the room, show the room. I didn't ask you to do that. You did ask no, me to I do didn't that. Not. She even called me at 12 o'clock at night, That's even though she knows. That's a she lie. She called me at 12 o'clock at night. I, I can show up on show my, I'll my show other you. phone. Peter James. It was like 11 30, 12 o'clock. I usually go to bed at 9 a.m. Yeah. Yeah, I the stresses you, of, I, of parenthood. I called you 6, 6 p.m. No. And, yes. 6 there was one really no, late one. No. Show me. You've deleted it. No, You're so I did not. dodgy. So you, so you dodgy. called me 8. Give me that. You called me 8 no, 49. That's, that's Facebook. You called me on the phone. No, I don't have. You're so I dodgy. Don't it's have like a, a cover-up job, man. Yeah, I never have. This I, is like I a cover-up job. I don't put load on my phone. How could I? Call and look, here's phone? here's the proof, right? Here's the proof, right? So, Arian, she made me do like here's the pictures of me in the room. Like I had to send pictures because I, I did not ask for it. Look, here we go. She's checking the room. I'm like. That hungover look, I'm like, Arr! just checking the room. I don't trust that. <laughs> what is it photoshopped? I don't trust no, that. You hear you this? Did that you were in Thailand. What? Did you you wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on. Wait, wait. I'm gonna find the phone registry because I swear she called me. You deleted it. You're so no, shady. No, this is not my phone. This that this is not this is Where's, not. Who called me then? Wait, stop. See. Who called See, you it's then? like you're trying to snatch the phone from me. There we go. There we go. I knew it. Right? So she called me at 11, 11. Okay? You see that? It says 11. Where? Okay? November 7, 11. Okay? Can you see that, guys? 11, 10 p.m. Look, you called me. It was late. I usually go to bed at like 9.30, maybe 10 you know, at the very, very late. She called me like 11 o'clock. And dude, I just like hit the phone. I wasn't going to answer because well, it woke me up. I was already fast asleep. I was already I fast asleep. Move listen. over. You're trying to see, see, see what she did there. She's just, she's moving over. She's taking more of the seat and I'm kind of, you know, hiding like this. Even when we sleep in the same bed, she does the same thing. She'll take you. half the bed. She'll, she's, she's like, I she's like mainland China. Bit. She's taking these islands. She's taking the ocean. You know, she's taking the territory in the bed. Not. Like even you saw it, man. You saw it. I didn't call you eleven. It's I told. I showed you. She says I didn't call you. I've got a call registry that shows she called me at eleven eleven p.m. See, look at that. Look. What does it say? Eleven ten p.m. I can't remember. I called you. 11. Well, you called me. <laughs> I did not. You did. You woke me up. And I couldn't get back to sleep. No. I'm serious. I didn't sleep well on Saturday night. Anyway. My God, man. See, so... And and I'll be fair to Aryan. Like, she never used to be jealous. You know, maybe I go to the bar and, you know, we have a group photo with friends or something. And she's fine. But recently, she's not fine. She has become over-jealous. Like, just over the top and actually and don't get angry with me okay but your auntie is also super jealous and when she started doing that this weekend like i kept calling her auntie because i'm like this reminds me of auntie you know she gets jealous how can you be not jealous when you see your take your guy taking picture with a girl with the same girl no, it's yes, it's the, the same, same girl. girl for like maybe how many twice, months? Twice, twice. No, not months. It's, it's weeks. It's not twice. Maybe twice, two photos. Well, let's go to your gallery <laughs> and show them. Okay, so there's some questions, right? Someone said go to Mindanao. Man, bro, we cannot go anywhere. <laughs> like, the only place we've been able to go is Zambales province. Okay, so we haven't really been able to get out of Zambales. Oh, I lie. We have gone once or twice to Pampanga, 
we went to the Marriott, we got into the Marriott one time and we bought uh, plants in Denalufian. But that's as far as we ventured and we real we couldn't like get as far as Mindanao. Like you gotta fly there, it's too far. And like you gotta have a COVID test, all of this. The big thing is if you're like over 65 now or if you're under um, 21, if you're under 21 years of age, okay? Like you can't, you're not supposed to go outside the house. So with the baby, we can't go anywhere. Like I could get a COVID test, I could get a travel pass. If I could be bothered to do all these requirements, which is just a pain in the ass, then I could get on a plane, you know, go somewhere, but then you have to still do quarantine. If I wanted to go to Bahol, I still do 14 days quarantine, right? This guy, Consta. Yeah, I'm not gonna listen to you, buddy, with a name like that. <laughs> Whatever. So yeah, like it was really good to have a holiday and you know, and this is why I kept bugging around. It's like, are you coming? You know, you're coming to the beach. Let's go to the beach, you know, because we had a good weekend there and I wanted to do it again, right? But she don't want to come, she don't want to come. So what do I do? Like I'm damned if I do and I'm, I'm damned if tell I me, don't. Tell me, honestly, you plan, you plan to go out with someone, didn't you? No. No, my plan was I was doing work stuff and having a bit of a holiday. So I was looking for land. I was looking for land. I have pictures and video. I'm serious. And I, I went with my friend Brian and that's it. Oh, my God. Someone just crashed their car. Oh, my God. What happened there? Well, what was that? I hope they didn't hit my car. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. What was that? Is that good? That was not good. Maybe come here. Come here, stay in the camera and I'll look. No, no. no. I'll check it. I'll check. You just stay there. You talk to the camera. Peter's just going to check if someone crashed their car. Hi, Sardino. I am 29 years old, Sir Dino. I'm going to thir uh, 30 next year. I don't have to run. <laughs> I don't have to run from him. He's gonna chase me anyway. Yes, yeah, still young. How are you in Australia, Sir Dino? Pete is 36 years old. Uh, I don't want my child to... I don't want Pete to grow up alone. Yes, I want, but I'm not ready. And I don't... And I, and I will always respect Peter if he only wants one baby. It's it's good to have siblings. Like I I enjoy. Oh, I'm very close with my siblings, and I appreciate and I'm thankful I have them. So I think Peter will be little. Pete will be glad if he has he has brother or sister, but not very soon. And it always comes down to Pete's if Pete wants to have more more baby. Thanks, Ardina. I hope everything's okay. <laughs> mm. Let me see the other comments. I'm just going to open the live live chat. I can't read it from the screen. Uh, it's not raining, raining badly here. Let me just go to my vlog, Casa James, and check the live. Are 
I'm not sure if Pete enjoys making me jealous. I'm not sure. I don't think he can handle me being jealous. I don't usually get jealous with, with bar girls, but I get jealous when it's being consistent. Like, he's seeing girl consistently, that's where I get jealous. But if he's going out with friends, just visiting pubs and bars, I don't really get jealous. But if it's, if he's seeing a girl consistently, that's where I get jealous, or I start getting jealous. Yeah, someone just did a hit and run on my car. Fuck? Yeah, my WRX. Yeah. So, I have to go, because I'm going to get in the other car. Aaron will keep talking to you. Someone did a hit and run on my car. Yeah, they hit my car and they kept driving. A couple people seen it, but yeah, it's terrible. So, I'm having a bad night. Whole side of my car is just ruined. It's terrible. <laughs> So I'm going to drive and try and track them down. Apparently it was an orange Ford, like a burnt orange or some kind of Ford pickup truck. See, that's why I've been wanting a carport for ages. Mm -hmm. So you, you keep doing this. I Maybe think... take some pictures and post. I got to go, yeah, guys. Sorry, I've got to track this, this guy down. He didn't even stop. He just kept going. He's just damaged the car, like totally like oh. ran into the car. It's just crazy. Maybe I should stop it and contact the, the security. Yeah, okay. We've got to go. I think we have to go. Yeah, what the hell? Someone, we hit her at a big bang, and yep. Sure enough, someone ran into my car. I had a feeling that might have happened. That's we'll be cool. back.